But guys, Titus, world famous glass blower extraordinaire, that's what it says on his Instagram. Um, we're going to do a question for him today, but Titus recently sent us some very cool glasses. And so Adam and I both enjoy a um, drink of bourbon from time to time. So I figured before his video, we would you know, commemorate these glasses with a little sip. Do mean little sip because we got to drive afterwards and we got videos to uh, to do this. And you may not know this, I don't drink much. So if I drink a lot, like I, I get a sniff of bourbon and I got a buzz. So Titus, I want to say thank you, brother. No. Little cup. I want the big one. Little cup. I want the big one. Adam, so when Titus was making these, who do you think that he was making these classes for? Which one do you think was easy? Because he was, he, he, I'm going to make one for Adam and make one for Chewy. Which one do you think he made the big one for? Thirstier. I want the big one. Adam, what's the name of the YouTube channel? Chew Jitsu. It's not Adam Jitsu. Small cup. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Titus. It's good bourbon. Really? I give you man all night. You better smile the hell up when the video comes around. I want the big cup. I don't need a small I don't need a sad Adam for a video. I want the big cup. You good? Big cup. We got a question from Titus, and again, Titus, thank you so much for the glasses. And in this question, he says that he's trying to do the baseball choke that I uh, showed years ago, about two years ago. I'll attach that choke video at the end of this video. Um, but he's wondering, he says when he's trying, he, his thumbs and his wrists aren't coming into play like he wants to, and he's having a little trouble finishing it. So we're going to take a real quick over a review of that choke, and then we're going to talk about the finer details of the choke itself, and, and especially that wrist in motion, especially rotating the thumb and the, um, the hand in here. As always, this is my lovely assistant. Small cup, Adam Wilson. So a real quick review of the choke. Basically, we were setting this up a number of different ways, but one of the ways was, you know, when you get in these grips, sometimes it's really hard to go straight for this cross collar or this uh, collar grip here for this uh, sort of uh, baseball choke. What I was doing is I was sliding my hand up the chest and then turning it up here at the end. And then from here, if the person was grabbing, we would bring our knee up, slide this down, and then cut the cross, and then drop down, obviously, and finish. Now, before I talk about the, the details with the wrist in this position, let's talk about some other chokes so we can draw the parallels there, okay? Uh, Adam, come back to my guard. When we go back to like something really simple like an X choke, okay? One of the common mistakes, say, for when people do an X choke is that they try to use too much arm and not enough wrist. So remember that our goal when we're doing chokes is mostly just to put pressure on the carotids here, okay? And so when I do this, I can accomplish this much easier by turning my hands. So I'm rotating the wrists here, and then I'm pulling it, and I'm flexing my wrist. So basically, I'm tightening the gi, and then I'm pressing my forearms up into the neck, okay? So if we go in here, boom, boom, I pull in. It's not my arms, it's, see that? And so much less movement, more efficient, much more effective, okay? I used to have trouble with this choke because of that. Okay, if we go into something, let's say like a, like a loop choke here where we get up under, okay, and we're doing this, same thing, I'm grabbing here, but it's not gonna be just up, I'm grabbing the wrist and flexing it in, okay? So that's kind of the motion that we wanna think about when we're finishing a choke, pretty much always when you're using these gi grips here, we're always trying to grab and push in, right? Now, coming back down, when we get to this choke, get in, Okay, so real quick on the, on the choke. If you want to go deeper with this choke, watch the video at the end because I give some better details. But on this hand, it's going to be a thumb in grip, okay? This hand's going to be a four finger in grip. There's different setups to get it. Once we get the grip, so you're going to need a little slack, but we want to get it, okay? We're going to cut across here to the side and get these grips here. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm grabbing here and I'm pushing down. See this? So I'm grabbing here and pushing down here to put pressure into this carotid, okay? On the other side, this one I'm pushing in. So just think, how can, when you grip, how can I put pressure on the carotid? So when I turn, one hand pushes in this way, one hand pushes in this way, and we're basically squeezing in, okay? So you don't need to get too confused on 
which way you're supposed to rotate or anything like this. Just think, am I putting a, a good amount of pressure on the carotid? So again, thumb, four finger grip. We go around to the side. Again, I'm slopping this up right now just to put more tension on the grips here. When we come down to finish, okay, again, this hand is flexing into the grip, grabbing, pushing the wrist in. This hand is pushing into the neck, and we squeeze, and that's it. Again, we can put a little extra muscle into it, whatever we want to, but it's just about that flick of the wrist, just right there, okay? And that's all that it is. So Titus, thank you so much for the glasses, dude. I think they're super, super cool. Uh, and I appreciate you taking the time to send them and make them. And I hope this video helps you get that clock choke, that baseball, excuse me, baseball choke to work. Um, hopefully the details also assist you with some of your other chokes. So, I'm finished. Adam. Adam. Little cup. It's like Littlefoot. You ever seen the movie Land Before Time? It's like, like Littlefoot.